Now moving on, different individuals of all faiths united for change at Adams Masjid for a call for humanity to stand together and shed light on the rich history, culture and resilience of the Palestinian people out of what they have been experiencing. Organizers of the event believed that the support and collaboration of association can be a powerful force for change. The Voice of Palestine event created a platform for individuals to contribute their donations to aid the people of Palestine. Executive Director at Amnesty International Kenya, Irungu Hilton, called for an end to the killing of innocent Palestinians in Gaza after a series of bombing that has led to the killing of nearly 15,000 people. First of all, the bombing must stop. There must be a ceasefire. Secondly, that the uh, end to the violence in Gaza is not simply just a ceasefire, but it is a respect for the two-state solution that was agreed in Oslo that said that the Palestinians have a right to a state and that Israel also has a right to a state, but those states cannot be dehumanizing in terms of the identity either of the Palestinians or the Israelis. We are calling for an end to the violence in Gaza immediately, not in some uh, mythical future. Speaking with Horizon TV, Musa Anis asked people to boycott companies that support Israel to sustain what many contend is apartheid against the Palestinian. We are not helpless in this matter. That's why it's important for us to boycott all those institutions that continue to support this genocidal agenda of this Zionist regime in the land of Palestine that they have stolen. We have the ability to boycott them. Nearly 15,000 people have been killed in Gaza since Israel launched its military offensive nearly a month ago, with the numbers suggesting about three-quarters of the dead are from vulnerable populations. We have lost approximately 6,000 children. I'm saying we because these children belong to us. It could have been my child, it could have been your child. And we're here to raise awareness for people to know what Palestine is all about. And as you can see, a lot of people have turned up in order to show solidarity on humanitarian grounds for our Palestinian children, our Palestinian mothers, our Palestinian fathers. And this is what all this event is about, to create awareness. Tumekuja kama wa islamu, kuonesha umoja na wao, kuonesha undugu na wao, kuonesha hata kama tukombali hivi tukiwa Kenya, bado tukona wao kwenye roho. Al Khair Foundation has been among the organization that collects donation and provide humanitarian relief in the occupied Palestinian territory. Uh, all the proceeds, alhamdulillah, are going towards supporting our brothers and sisters in Gaza. And uh, they will be channeled through Al Khair Foundation Kenya, uh, which will, inshallah, uh, remit the funds to our head office in the UK. From there, our UK office, inshallah, will... Uh, uh, remit the funds to our offices or our team members in Egypt. Palestine event attracted a hundred of people who took part by either buying or selling in assistance in collecting funds to support the Palestinian people. Reporting for Muslim Insight, my name is Abdurrahman Gaddafi Yassin.